Hello and welcome to Topson. My name is William Lebowski and here we are at the 78 Outer Inner Lagos course. Back in the day, of course, we're not going that far back with our cars. These cars are the 1986 Opal Stock cars. And it is giving us an amazing uh, feeling race though. This huge sprawling oval that turned out to be Inner Lagos. And these old, big, powerful, speedy, loud cars, heavy. Uh, and not very agile cars, uh, rolling down these long straights, maxing out as much of their gears as possible, and then these very, very unique and interesting corners that we have here that resemble a hybrid of something between some sort of an oval and some sort of a road course. It's a, it's a great combination for these cars as it's tempting to want to do stock car racing in them, However, they really are built a little bit more for road courses. And so it's, I think, a perfect combination for these cars. And it's a great combination for fun. Uh, I have been really drawn to the historic aspect of AMS 2 recently. Uh, I'm not really drawn anymore to the modern uh, stuff, traditional stuff in AMS 2 at this point. Uh, but really loving the car feel and the AI experience when doing these historic races. Uh, I don't necessarily have an itch or an urge or uh, an agreeance with all of the cars in AMS2, but I have just been falling in love with the uh, historic cars and tracks uh, on offer. This is the trickiest corner to get right here as you slide down the hill. And if you're not careful on that right side there, that curb is very close to that wall, if you haven't noticed. And so if you touch the curb, you generally lose it a little bit over the curb, end up in that wall. This is another deceptively tricky corner here just because of this exit wall right there. If you apex that corner too early, very, 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 very bad situation uh, brewing on the other side of the track. But anyway, really, really mid-pack from us right here. And trying to keep the momentum up as much as we can right now, and also using as much of the tire as we can right now, the AI, I think, do save their tire. I, I don't know if it's specifically a strategy or just something that they accidentally end up doing, um, but they end up having good tires at the end of the race, and they also don't make the stupid moves that I do at the beginning of the race. So it's going to be something I'll have to watch out for as this race progresses, progresses. but there really is a finite window uh, to make those moves before the tires significantly drop off, and you really only have a couple of them available to you. So we got the momentum going. We don't have to ask that much of our tires now going forward to keep up with the group. Uh, we're keep ourselves in this draft here, in this pack. Hopefully, uh oh, it looks like the leaders are starting to split a little bit see a little bit of braking happening around us here on the straight so we got to find the the best way through it oh lots of contact in front of us contact on us cars coming around on the side the two leaders seeming like they're making their way through a uh, three wide we're finding ourselves in a bad spot had to lift a little bit there okay if we did not lift we would have found ourselves easily on the grass and then easily into those barriers hopefully those leaders aren't getting too far away from us i would really like to do well in this race I'd like to podium, I'd like to win it. It'd be really exciting. So I don't want them to get too far away. Oh, is me and the 44 touch a little bit of grass on the inside? All right, the outside, we're gonna hold it, hold that throttle pinned as I grab the microphone cable instead of the gear shift. But anyway, heading uphill, don't apex too early here. Uh, had to slightly lift the 42 of which Petty goes around us. Let's see if we can't hold them. Looks like the 50 is going to make our move on our outside, although we just want to keep them on our outside because we want the inside on this corner going forward. Inside to the outside there. Oh, this is going to be a nice run. Ooh, ooh. I did not mean to make that bump on the 42. It looks like a little bit of bump drafting. Let's catch his draft all the way down. They kind of got on the brakes a little bit more than I was anticipating. All right, so that could have ended way worse. That awkward shift from third to fourth here at the bottom of this hill. If 
if done wrong, can really just close your momentum. And that 42, speaking of closing momentum, makes that little fakie move. We gotta back out from there. We lose a position and some momentum. Only a quarter of the way through this race there. It's just time to, it's time to start uh, settling into a rhythm. It's time to stop the crazy moves on the tire so that we can still have something uh, for the final areas of this race. There we go. Just keep the pedal flat to the floor. Give yourself some good runs. Don't make any contact. And you find yourself moving forward instead of backwards. It is a lot trickier than you might expect to move forward uh, on this style of racing because it really is a fine line between tire wear and risk and reward. And so like right now, I've been in the situation in these cars so many times uh, where we're just kind of off touch with this group and it's going to be very hard for us to catch back up to them. We have two options. We either just let them go or we burn what we have of our tires right now to get back up into contact with them. And quite frankly, I'd rather try to get back up into contact with that group than try to play the long game on that group with the tire strategy. So I'm going to try to be as risky as possible to get up into contact with them because I'd rather be with them and have th that little bit of draft be in the safety of the group than just out here yo-yoing. Oh. Okay, thank God. I, the second I uh, hit hit on the gas too early there, I thought that was going to send us into the wall. But we're getting closer. We're getting closer. It's working. The three car in front of us getting in a little bit of grass, a little bit of dirt getting kicked up ahead of us. This is a run. Okay. Okay. Wow, finally back in contact with this group. I honestly didn't think it was going to happen, just based on what's happened in the past uh, with practice years. These cars, once they're in a group, they just walk away from me once I get disconnected. So now it is important to keep the momentum. Because uh, if I'm off this group and if I'm off the back and I lose momentum, it's going to be peace out like that for at least another couple of laps. So trying to find the mix right now between trying not to find myself at the back of this group, but if I make a terrible move to shunt myself forward, I'm going to end up shunting myself backwards. So I got to play it really carefully on this razor's edge here at the back of this group. Because I don't have anybody behind me to keep me in line. Is the three car is going to fall back? Okay, come on. Keep us relevant here. Keep us relevant. All right, we're not out of the woods yet. Not out of the woods yet. Still got to be very careful, very cognizant of what's happening. Can't get played here. I need a nice run to get us in front of this 27. Come on. I don't want to be at the end of this group. go I cannot be the one to have to give momentum here because if you give momentum here you just fly back and now look how far that car is and even worse those cars that are even further back just have no chance at this point so I've got to be pretty aggressive as this 27 is looking for my inside now I gotta I can't give it to him did they just force themselves into the pit lane instead of backing out Back on the heels of this 90 car. Oh my. Am I about to... Yep. All right, there was some big stops. Some big slowdowns in front of us on that straight. Oh. One and two make huge contact with each other. No, 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 no. No, no.
no, no, no. Okay. It's not all the way over. That could have been so much worse. Could have been so much worse. As we're now looking at over halfway through this race. Yep, I just had to let that coast a little bit further through the corner than I wanted to, and it worked out really well. Okay. Oh, that was scary, but I think we've made a recovery. We've got our momentum back. We are just outside of the podium, but we just got to stay in contact with this group. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, we went wide there. Did not make it to the apex. That's going to... This is not going to look great for us. Okay. Let's pull him back in. A little bit of contact in front of us. That's good for us. That's great for us. All right. We're, we're getting closer. Maybe there's a little bit of a toe that we're taking advantage of here. bit of curb. Is that Richard Petty in front of us? The 44 and the 43. And two 21 Chattanooga Chu cars. <laughs> All right. Here we go. From fourth to second. Now we got two Chattanooga Chu cars going for the lead. Almost go wheel to wheel with that. Piedmont 44. It's a very tricky place to shift gears. Got to make it as quick and as fast as you can. Oh, the 44 gets a pass done on the outside. The 43 trying to look on our inside now. But it looks like we're all going to go into a straight line here as we cross the finish line. It looks like we're all just kind of playing chess on each other at this point. Low and slow. Just got to be smooth, calm. All right. What's going to happen here? As we look down to the very inside, the three of us go, oh, wow, three wide. I'll back out of this first since I'm on the very inside. My angle for that corner was not good. As we fall down into fourth position, though. So it looks like we're going to have a run here on the outside. 221 cars on the outside. Oh, the 44 doing a little bit of a block pass. 43 looking for it on the outside now, too. All right, all right, all right. Everybody stay calm. Everybody stay calm. Let's not lose our heads yet. They're going to make a move on the inside. Just barely not able to stick it up on the inside, although they are still looking. The 44 and the 21 double wide. <laughs> 44 and 21 fighting for first and second. The 44 and the 21 fighting for third and fourth. Oh, contact in front of us. Contact on us. Okay. Oh, miss shift. It's going to take us to the inside, though. Three wide. These laps are just ticking down now. Coming to five to go. Oh, man, this 44 car can't. We cannot let it get too far ahead. Oh, look at that pack hungry behind us. Three wide in the center. Five more laps to go. They go a little bit wide through that first corner, very important corner. A little bit wide through the second corner as well. That is not an optimal exit for them. Ooh, ooh. I take my hand off the wheel for just a second so that I could change hands and look at, hit a different button so we could get a view behind us, and that was almost mayhem for us. Come on. Hold it, hold it, yes, okay. 
Alright, is this a bit of a run for us? Let's get a little bit of a draft. Look behind us, it's clear. To the inside. Ooh. Yeah, we just got to avoid contact from us, because these cars... Uh-oh. Uh that little bit of... Uh, back and forth we had. We got another Chattanooga Chew car. He's going to look down the inside of us. Think better of it. Oh, We went sideways and I almost forgot the most crucial part of that save was the throttle on a real drive car. I almost forgot to give it the throttle to save it. We almost had a such worse time than we just did. Okay, four laps to go. We're finding ourselves battling now for the podium. On the outside. Okay, we've gotten mugged a couple positions now. The Chattanooga Chu car with us is probably feeling the same thing. This 44 car in front of us wants to get up to that Piedmont. We all want to get around this 11 Bush car who has showed up very late, but very, very at the right time. Richard Petty's still 43, coming down, trying to make that inside work. I just, I'm sorry, it's too late in the race. I'm taking it from you. You cannot have the inside going into the first corner. It's just too important. All right. I think this run will set us up well. <gasps> 44 gets very loose in front of us. Okay, we had to check up just to avoid going right into the back of them. But that is beneficial for us. Okay, okay. Third place. They touch. A win is very much in reach here. Very, very much in reach here, as long as it's timed right. And I think if I'm a, a gambling man, I'm gonna bet that the timing of this is gonna happen where that field behind us is going to be making moves on us three right on the fo uh, right on the finish line, I feel like. We got two laps left, and they're just in that... We're battling up ahead here, and they're in that perfect distance behind to swoop in on us. They're getting closer. All right, I think I'm going to have a better run here, so I think I'll be able to take second place. Oh. I misspoke as we're getting walked on. 43 look into the inside. Oh man. This is going to be a multi car fight for the win. I don't know where to make my move. It's probably that first corner. I'm probably going to have to make a big move on that first corner and then hold position for the rest of the lap. I don't think I can make it in the second half of this track but worst case best case scenario i think the furthest i can make a move would be turn one two three i think that's the latest i'll be able to make a move turn three so turn one really sets the pace for the rest of your lap determines your run if you can get a run into corner number three through corner number two you're setting yourself up great for the lap but right here is the difference maker this little hill, going down the hill, making our turn, and coming up the hill on the other side. Okay. Coming up. Oh, we are getting a little bit of a run here. All right, coming up to the final lap. The 44 is going to make a move on us. Richard Petty is sitting not far behind, though. Everybody wants to go. All right, as we slide up into first position in turn one on the final lap, 44 car trying to go on our inside, the Bush car looking on our outside. Oh, just to the curb, all the way to the curb. Okay, the Bush car is going to have a nice run on us coming down into turn three. They've already got the inside. I'm not going to, I'm not going to try to cut them because that's just going to end up worse for me. Oh, they're making their move. 
Okay. Oh, we're trying it on the outside. Oh boy. Oh boy. No! No way! He just flew by us! I cannot believe we just gave up the goat on the win! How did they get by us on that final corner? I thought we had it! Oh man, we were just were trying to juggle all of that to the very end and it looks like we just barely missed out on being able to do that. You've got to be kidding me. Oh, at least we weren't swallowed up by the pack. That was a thrilling experience. I'll definitely be back for more of this uh, old school oval racing in AMS2. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one.